What is up YouTube? Khan here once again and you're looking at the Easy 2 DJ PC. As you can see, the top part is taken off and here's the computer. Now, for those that don't know, the uh, Easy 2 DJ PCs run off a Pentium 3 processor. Now, most of them are maxed out and they run on a, a Tualatin processor, but and here's a copper mine. Unfortunately, it's just a little bit too slow to be running the game, so what I ended up having to do is buy a copper mine to Tualatin socket adapter, which is right over here. You can see it came right from South Korea. This is what it looks like. It has the fastest Pentium 3 already um, installed onto it. This is kind of what it looks like. I don't know if it's going to focus in too well. Let's try. Get a little bit of focus in on here. Yeah. Yeah, well. But anyways, I'm not sure if you can see too well, but there is two different boards on here. The uh, top part is the processor and the bottom part is the socket adapter. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking out the old processor and putting this one in. And the problem before why I couldn't just put in the fastest Pentium 3 is because Coppermine um, copper processor sockets are not compatible with Tualatin ones, but Tualatins are compatible with Coppermine and unfortunately this is a Coppermine processor slot so I'm I was unfortunate enough to not be able to just throw in the fastest processor. This was a necessary purchase to get it running 100%, so going to go ahead and take out this old processor in here, put in the new one. So I'll be right back and I'll update you guys once I get everything in. Okay, so the socket adapter has been put in place. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see too well down here, if I can even focus in too well. Nah, you're probably not going to be able to see it, but... Uh, maybe you can. You can see the two uh, two boards right there, top one being the processor, bottom one being the socket adapter. And you can see the old processors right over here. This was the fastest copper mine you could buy and wasn't cutting it. Uh, threw some more thermal paste on the processor. There was some left on the heat sink, but figured it wasn't cutting it. It was really, really thin layer, so put a little bit of extra thermal compound on there. And we're going to go ahead and clean this up, put it back together, and put in the machine. Hopefully it works out okay. So be back in a minute to let you know what the results are like. Okay, so as you can see, the Easy GGJ PC is back inside the cabinet. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Just got to plug this in. We'll see what the clock speed shows up as on the, uh, the CPU. Yes, I know you guys can see me. Try to get the glares out of the way so you can see it. There you go. Main processor Pentium 3, 1400 megahertz. So there you go. Let's get boot into the game mode. Now, before I took this video, I did play around. It does play a lot better. It really, really does. That processor made a huge difference. The load times are a lot faster. Uh, some of the lag issues are gone, but fifth tracks or platinum for that matter is known for a lot of syncing issues and problems with it lagging during gameplay which can't really be fixed and they are fixed on later games but obviously not with this one so some of the problems were resolved by the swapping out the processor but not all of them unfortunately but uh, that was to be expected but you'll see the game boots up here in a second and everything works pretty damn well now so really happy about that um, I would say the cabinet's running 100% like it's supposed to. So there you guys go. That is your easy to DJ PC update uh, at Under the Big Top. So hope you guys enjoyed.